1957, it was a whole different world. The entire South was completely segregated in every area. We knew that the school was going to be integrated, but that was something we had talked about in our family and that was not a problem. We didn't really anticipate the situation turning into what it did. 39 years after the forced integration of Little Rock Central High School, history students from Kansas begin a project that will discover two unsung heroes behind a civil rights icon. We saw a film in class that portrayed Elizabeth Eckford and all that she went through to try and go to Central High School. I was able to find her and interview her. When she was asked if any of the students were kind to her, she said there were two. Ken Ryan Hart and Ann Williams, we were both in her speech class. I befriended Elizabeth because when I walked into the speech class, she was sitting in the corner by herself and she looked lonely and I just went over there and spoke to her. I just did what I was raised to do. We started receiving threatening and insulting phone calls. Many of them would start out with, I suppose you're proud of your nigger loving son. And my dad would say, I sure am, and hang up. Even after you learn what the repercussions were, you continued to be yourself. You continued your bravery. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What impacted me the most from the, uh, working on this project was the character that uh, Kendall Reinhardt stood for and how I could use that as an example in my own life. I was able to start with just an idea and, and out of it became a life-changing event. One person can make that difference.